What is marketing? In this unit, we're going to try to understand what are the different components of marketing. Many people think of marketing as only selling an advertisement. We are bombarded every day with TV commercials, catalogs, sales calls, and, and of course, email. However, selling and advertising are only the tip of the marketing iceberg. Today, marketing must be understood not in the old sense of making a sale, telling and selling, but in the new sense of satisfying customer needs. So the first thing I would like to do is to introduce to the American Marketing Association. Their website, interestingly enough, is called Marketing Power. So this body of marketers, once every five or six or, or even sometimes 10 years, they review the definition of what we in the field understand by marketing. So the one we are using now is from 2007. And in this definition, they decided to use these keywords. Um, the word creating, the word communicating, the word delivering, and the word is changing and all of these four verbs in, in gerund form refer to the the value creation and the value creation interestingly enough is not just for the direct customers and clients but it's also for society at large and this is going to be one of the emerging trends within the world of marketing that we will see later so at the end of the day marketing is about managing profitable um, customer relationship. Let's let's reflect about these four keywords that we already saw. I'm sure you have seen in the context of other classes, maybe if you took management um, 307 of the marketing mix or the famous four P's that really describe all the activities that marketers are taking care of from the product creation to the promotion the idea of distribution, how am I going to put the product in the hands of my customers? And finally, how do I assign a price? What's the value of, of my product? Um, in that definition that we just discussed, the one from the AMA Association in 2007, instead of product, they talk about creating offerings. And, and notice that they talk about offerings, okay? Not just product or service. And we will discuss this later. Instead of promotion, they talk about communicating the offerings, telling our potential market how good our offer is. Instead of um, distribution on place, they talk about delivering those offerings. And instead of price, they talk about exchanging offerings because when we talk about price and discuss different revenue models, it's not always you know, an exchange of money for an asset property, but there are many ways to exchange value among consumers. So keep this in mind. We will still um, talk about marketing mix. And as you see, my last four units in the course are structured about each of the four P's. But um, we are moving to that um, verb um, continuing activity that um, the new definition um, brought to the picture. So another key component and of the course, if I can ask you to print just one page in the whole course, um, is, is this one, is what I call the marketing framework. Because again, going back to the course structure, the nine units that I designed, you're going to see that all of them fit into this marketing framework. So I will refer to this marketing framework. It's mine. I, I wish I could say I, I took it from any of the big, you know, authors like Kotler, Armstrong, or even tracker but I created then I always open to get feedback from you if something makes no sense or the visual representation is not good but basically this framework tells you that every marketing effort starts with the customer in mind they're in the foundation and from this same day I want you to understand that when we talk about customers we are always going to talk about two big segments so we will have a unit on segmentation but a customer could be a yes, a consumer, a person like you and I, someone with, I like to say, the social security number, or you could be selling um, your products to uh, other business. That's what we call a B2B uh, marketing engagement. Okay, so have those two big segments in mind. Am I selling to people or am I selling to another business? Um, how do we get to know about this? customers. 
okay, we have a powerful tool called market research, and we will spend a whole week learning about primary versus secondary, quantitative versus qualitative. Um, we will also spend some time understanding the individual consumer behavior, not so much on the, the business as, as a customer, but more like people, individual. What is that decision process they go when they engage in a purchase? And then we will spend another unit talking about the process of segmenting, targeting, and position because we cannot see just the whole um, group of consumers out there, okay? I am targeting the whole US population. That will be very ambitious. So marketing um, helps you to identify group of consumers with common needs. Once we are clear on that, we define our marketing strategies, and that's unit um, uh, two when we discuss strategic planning. And then we will spend time talking about what I just introduced you, the marketing mix, the famous four piece, creating a product, exchanging, communicating, and place um, for you know final distribution. Those are the four piece. And notice what I put here in the center value you have to have something of value to offer the consumer if there is no value there is not a business proposition you will not have a, a business model and final component in this framework is that a business trying to market a new product um, does not operate in the empty space okay we are all part of a society and part of an environment and an industry that you need to understand. So it could be a domestic or a local industry if you just decided to sell, let's say California or within your county, or you could say, well, I see that my company has potential to go global, so I'm engaging in international uh, business and international marketing, okay? But this is the final container and we will have to always do an industry analysis and a competitor analysis because we are not alone in this planet. Sounds a little bit dramatic. Okay, next thing. Um, I already introduced the idea of a offering. It's a bigger concept of product and service. So the reflection I want you to start doing is what is that can be um, marketed, okay? It's just product like tangible objects that I have, you know, probably in my pantry, but also we could be talking about services. Think of all the intangible things that you are willing to actually pay a price because you see value. And, and I always give the example of a massage. One key component of services is that they usually consume at the point of distribution. Would it be nice to get a massage in a can and take it home and then open that can and give yourself a massage later on? That can happen because of the intangibility component of service. Another um, thing that obviously can be marketed is ideas, and we're going to see that a lot in, in um, social marketing and nonprofit engaging in, in, marketing, um, in marketing activities. They don't want you to buy anything per se, right? But they want you to change habits and that will make social marketing so challenging. Another thing that you will see be market is obviously places. And I always like to refer to, to Vegas campaigns because their commercials are usually very funny and they built on, on the idea of what happened in Vegas, stay in Vegas. And the final thing that can be marketed and I don't know what you're thinking here, but people, right? We are all like walking brands. And what we see is that the politicians do an extra uh, good job in, in marketing campaigns before election, okay? So again, broad your idea about what a product is and, and start thinking about these different um, components of the offering. It's not just tangible products. Um, another quick reflection about who needs a marketing mind. Who are these marketers and, and where are these, these marketers working? And I always like to say from day one, and, and I 
obviously I'm learning about your backgrounds, but a lot of students work for the for-profit sector and we think of marketing as a tool of business to maximize the profit. But we, as I already explained, apart from the private sector, we see marketers working hard in the what we call um, third sector or, or, or non-profit uh, organization. They obviously don't have a profit maximization goal, but they want you to buy their ideas and many times at the end of the year to to contribute your, with your donations so they are very big on marketing too and finally the government think of those um u.s army or navy uh, recruiting campaigns and commercials government also have to deliver the four piece to the general public but even more important and i hope you know i can convince you about that at the end of the day you you are a walking brand it could either be because you're looking for a new job it could be within your existing job it could be because you are out in the market looking for for your next date but we are all selling ourselves we're a walking brand so the concept we're going to learn in this class can help you to maximize the power of your personal brand and i also hope that you become a more knowledgeable consumer you take decisions every single day you buy with your dollars and companies are trying to convince you through the four piece that they have the best offer so let's let's get it smarter as consumers what's happening today um, and you're reading in chapter one and that article uh, from harvard business review there are some um, big trends happening in the world of marketing you read the evolution um, of how marketing started with first a production orientation then we move to a selling orientation product orientation and, and authors talk about the marketing era taking place between 1950s and 1990s and, and marketers are now is like how do we call the era we're living now and, and this sort of agreement that could be called the value era and the main main trends i group them in these two big group the focus on social benefits and and i already introduced you to idea of social marketing that it's not just about satisfying customer needs but also to achieve social change there is also a big trend and push for sustainability and new product development that are sustainable mpd you will see that in my class new product development and of course a big push for triple bottom line what is the role of business? It's just about maximizing profit. There is a big push now for the idea that profits um, are important. Obviously, you want to have a financial um, uh, sustain business, but also you need to consider what is your impact in society and what is your impact in the environment. So we talk about the triple bottom line people planet profit and if you see the trend now with um, new legal entities such as benefit corporation l3c and even flexible corporation in um, california this movement uh, is only going to get bigger and by the way i'm biased because i also teach classes in social entrepreneurship so i'm very passionate about the power of business to to change um, societies and make a difference and create social value um, so let me talk because I get too excited in this section let me talk now about the other big trend which is the focusing on accountability and with that that we mean that our marketing efforts have to be measured we have to establish metrics and be sure that the dollars we are spending are having an impact in either our financial line or any of the two other bottom lines that we just discussed. And I want to introduce you to the idea of ROMI, is return on your marketing investment. That's a number that uh, CMOs, chief marketing officers are looking at and also to stay away from those broad vague um, goals we'll talk about um, defining goals in the next the next um, unit but increase brand awareness is an example right well that's good but if you said that's a goal you need to be sure you're going to spend your money to have a market research effort to measure that brand awareness i love this quote from the founder of uh, unilever one of them uh, Sir Lever, that he said half of the money I spent on advertisement 
is wasted and the travelers I don't know which half. So that was obviously in the late 1800s, a lot has happened and now we have big data among us. There is plenty of data now to understand how our consumers are engaging with the brand, especially through social media and an internet. Um, but you have to have the effort and you need to plan for that. So very interesting times for marketing. And just basically, because I'm running out of time, marketing is about 